A fitting end? I do not fully understand that logic. Oh, it's okay. You don't but need to. But if Mew was killed near the chapel, why was the murder weapon by the mansion? Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If the culprit meant to get rid of the evidence, they did a poor job of it. There was a much better place where they could have destroyed it. If toilet paper was the murder weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Perhaps the culprit prepared a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. No? But who else but the culprit would bring a hammer? Mew. We already know who brought the hammer. That's it! Mew was the one who brought the hammer. Huh? Mew bring hammer? Remember what she told us? I rewrote the program to delete all the dangerous objects that could be used as weapons! Yeah, she did say she deleted any dangerous objects. If that were true, she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. On purpose? But why she do that? Mew brought the hammer for sure, but what did she need it for? We need to make that clear. Let's the meeting. that Mew brought the hammer. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? No. Uses for a hammer. Gonta, no! Mew gonna build stuff with hammer! No. She probably just brought it for self-defense. Or she secretly met up with someone and tried to kill them with it. Yeah. You idiot, she was the victim! That doesn't matter. Kokichi's right. That... I think Kokichi's right. Maybe use it to break down a wall. Or she secretly met up with someone. I agree. Mew was gonna meet up with someone in the virtual world. Mm-hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What? Is that true? I overheard them talking about it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do with it. Kokichi already figured it out. She was planning to... Oh, not make a murder. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. No, that's not what I meant. No, 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 I meant to click the obvious one. I don't know why I... She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yep. She plotted to meet up with me and then kill me with the hammer. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out Mew's plan, okay? Mew's plan, huh? I'm sh sure if I analyze the clues we found out, I can figure something out. Let's do it. Psyche Taxi! Where was you trying to kill Kokichi? The roof.
Why was a bottle of poison on Kiji's seat? Yep. Nice. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. She placed the poison on my seat to make us think the murder happened in the real world. She did that too? What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? Yep. No, that ain't right. Something's definitely weird about that. Whoa, we're getting argument already? Okay, we're gonna have to argue, Kaido. Um, cause boyfriend doesn't listen to us. But it's okay. When could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. Oh, no. Okay. It's impossible to log out unnoticed without leaving any trace of evidence. That applies to me as well, not just us. Oh, no. Damn. Okay. I tried to go fast. Nope. When could Mew have put the poison there? If she did place the poison without us noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. And then what? She logged back in? Wasn't she the last to log in? She, weren't you in the salon around that time? Did you see her log in or log out at all? Nope, I didn't see that at all. If she hadn't logged in or out, then you couldn't have placed the poison. That's what it is! That's wrong. One step ahead of myself. She was the last one to log in, therefore she placed it before logging in. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. She had plenty of time to do it. Here, take a look at this. Is this a record of who went in and out of the virtual world? You were literally there for this, Kaido. That's right. It says that Mew was the last of us to log in. Yeah, what about it? If she logged in last, she would have had time to move around in the real world after the previous person logged in. That right. She could have placed Poison Bottle on Kokiji's seat. This was all part of Mew's plan. She tried to kill me in the virtual world, make us think it happened in the real world, then pin the crime on Kaito. Well, that's not my fault. Which is why she manually logged you out. Just for that purpose. So she did that to me? Yes, I'm positive of that. Damn! Mew used a method only she could use to log Kaito out manually. How did Mew log Kaito out? The cell phone. This is it! It was the cell phone found by Mew's avatar. That cell phone worked the same way as the phone in the salon. It logs users in and out. I verified this myself when I spoke Kaito's name into it. Kaito Momoda. He logged out just as I thought. I see. With that cell phone, she could force anyone to log out at any time. But Mew never mentioned a cell phone, right? That's what Shuichi referred to when he mentioned a method only she could use. She kept the cell phone a secret on purpose, so she could use it for the murder. So, she really was planning a murder. And she tried to set me up. Well, I knew that from the start. Then why did you say I was the culprit? Because I wanted to get it through your thick skull. People you trust and defend will ultimately betray you. This is a game of suspicion. Well, I think your ideals should stay the same. Because phonies like you are what make the game more interesting. Damn. Don't you agree, Monokuma? Hmm? Do I? I don't know about that. Huh? Wait, what were we talking about? I wonder when Daddy's gonna get his motivation back. Yeah! If Father keeps slacking off, all the work is gonna get forced onto Mommy. Huh? 
Mommy? Two. Uh, my head. I feel like I'm about to remember something, but I can't. What's wrong, Monotaro? Pull yourself together! Anywho, it's a blessing in disguise that Mew died and not me. What you mean? Because she wouldn't have said anything about what really happened in the virtual world. You guys would have had a way harder time finding the culprit, you know. She would have been able to lie about the virtual world settings as much as she wanted. And you'd never know that the murder actually took place in the virtual world. So that's why she decided to attempt a murder. Because she had total control. Then the reason Mew was so insistent we'd go into the virtual world was... You guys are only bitching because you haven't been to the virtual world yet! But once you go, you'll understand! Seriously, it's so fucking awesome! I know you guys will love it! And then you're gonna fall in love with me for showing it to you guys! So, let's just dive right in, okay? We'll do it together! She was insistent we go there so she could kill us. What a shady person. I was sad that she was gone, but now I don't know what to think. <laughs> nice! Backstabbed by a trusted friend. See? That's an ideal fun situation. Now we can start a real class trial. Hey, Kokichi sort of sound like... Monokuma. Hmm? Huh? Really? I don't sound anything like him. No. You're just like Monokuma. Both of you are cowards. You never speak the truth or show your true face. Wait, coward? You say some interesting things sometimes, Kaito. Smiling, putting on a mask, never saying what you really think. That kind of cowardice is just like Monokuma! Daddy, they're calling you a coward! Aren't you gonna do something? Yeah, yeah, I just gotta do my signature laugh, right? Poo -hoo -hoo -hoo. There, I did it. He's completely lost his drive! Like a one-hit wonder who clings to their former fame! <laughs> my head! Listen up, Kokichi! To hell with this game of suspicion crap! I will never be okay with it! I'm just gonna believe in everyone! Instead of suspecting my friends, I'm gonna find the truth by believing in them! Well, if you think you can win this game like that, then sure, be my guest. Of course I can. I don't need your permission. How long are you guys going to argue? Let's hurry this up and continue. If we don't find the culprit, then we'll all die, you know that? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. If we are going to begin searching for the culprit, let's start with Kokichi's story. Huh? My story? You were meeting with Mio, but she ended up as the victim. So it's only natural for us to think you're the killer, right? Here's my answer. I never met up with Mew. Mm -hmm. You didn't? I tried to go to the roof to meet up with her, but the door was locked. But isn't lock picking your specialty? You should have been able to open it easy. I couldn't pick locks with my avatar body. I didn't have the tools for it either. Also, I never went to the roof, not even for the meeting. I remember you and Gonta went off together when we first started looking. But was the door to the roof actually locked? When I was on the roof before logging out, the door wasn't locked. Huh? How should I know? Then who locks the door to the roof? I already told you. How should I know? When I went to the roof, it wasn't locked. So you gotta be lying. What good would it be if I lied? I don't want to die either, you know. Lying would do you a lot of good if you're the culprit. Oh, mm-hmm, I see. 
I didn't realize that. Oh my god. What kind of response is that? That's suspicious as hell. Wait, there's no point in arguing about that now. The truth will come out eventually. Exactly. Before we get to that, we need to discover the truth behind Mew's death. Truth? There were mysterious circumstances surrounding her death. We need to make sense of those first. Wow, Shuichi, you know your way around this game. Yes, keep up the hard work. The fate of our lives rests in your hands. So, what is this strange circumstance? Kokichi claims it was Mew who chose the meeting place. But I'm wondering how she got from the chapel to the mansion's roof. I see. Mew sent the bridge connecting the mansion and chapel into the river herself. Whoops! My hand slipped! Uh, oh my god, that's the case. Then Mew might not have even gone to the roof. Huh? So she stood me up? It's very rude to break a promise. <laughs> it's true. We need to first determine if Mew actually was there or not. Did she go? Or was she ever, never on the roof at all? Samugi's account. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! A bridge at the, is the only way, no. But there's some evidence that shows it was possible. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. Boss. While Shuichi and Samugi were in the mansion, they heard a loud noise shortly after. They were both in the entrance of all. Kiwa's voice was heard despite the fact of the map loading point. A bridge would be the only way to get across. So, her meeting with Kokichi... She stood me up! Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. If you look at where her avatar fell, it's right next to the chapel. How would she have gotten to the mansion? There was no bridge over the river. A bridge would be the only way to get across. There has to be some evidence that shows it was possible. Mew was waiting for me to arrive. I'm sure she was waiting on the rooftop of the mansion. No, Mew should have been at the chapel. That's wrong! Mew must have gone to the mansion. We have a witness. Yeah, when I was searching the dining room, I saw Mew pass by the window. Yeah. Uh, then why didn't you say so sooner? Sorry, I thought I was just mistaken at first. Since there was no way she could have come to the mansion. But I guess I wasn't mistaken after all. That was definitely Mew. Then... How did she get to the mansion from the chapel? It must have been some special method only Mew knew, like with that cell phone. There's no doubt about that. That's why she dropped the bridge. If a murder occurred when it was impossible to cross the river, she wouldn't be implicated. She used a secret method to move from the chapel to the mansion for the murder. 
Yeah. She dropped the bridge to make a huge scene just to let everyone know it's no longer there. So, what secret method did she use? It won't be that easy to figure out. It's called a secret method for a reason. No worries, guys. As long as we leave it to Shuichi, everything will be A-OK. -okay. What? What are you saying? We can't just rely on Shuichi all the time. This class trial's for all of us. We're here to solve this together. <laughs> you would just slow down Shuichi. Shut up! I don't have time to deal with Kokichi right now. I need to focus on this case. I am positive that Mew used some kind of special method to get to the mansion. Okay. I have to figure out what it was. A way across that only Mew knew about. Like a hidden bridge besides that signboard, maybe. Or instead of bridge, Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported magic. Ah, no, okay. Oh, with magic. I should read the whole thing. And there's a rule that, uh, there's a rule that says there's no warps or mounts. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I should read the whole thing beforehand. A way across it. Or instead of bridge, Mew used some kind of vehicle to go over. Or maybe she teleported with magic. Or she used a warp zone. Maybe there's a place you could cross without a bridge. A hidden need that only you could use to be foolish. That's... Uh, oh, okay, good. The agree. agree. That's... Yeah. Again, if I... That's it, Kibo. There was a hidden route only Mew could use. Hmm? Was there really? Mew modified the program to add a special wall to the world. The wall stretches along the y-axis, but we found two such walls in the virtual world. It's unclear whether Mew added the wall by the mansion or the wall near the chapel. We do know that that wall was set so that only objects could pass Don't through. Don't be naive, Shuichi! You're literally holding us back! My guy! Mm -hmm. what? what is it, Kaito? Jeez, can you set up a weird wall like that? That is suspicious, but it's got nothing to do with what we were talking about. It has everything to do with what we were talking about. What are you talking what about? What to do with it? Huh, you don't even realize your mistake? Are you losing your edge? Oh well, my sidekick's mistakes are my mistakes. I'll make it right. What we gotta figure out is how Mew got from the chapel to... So why waste time talking about the impossible? It's pointless. We gotta take a whole new approach here. Now, wait just a second. It's not actually impossible at all. But you just said so, didn't you? That wall Mew set up only lets non-human objects go through it. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object after all. You get it? So let's go through this one more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We you have... just said so, didn't you? That Mew is literally an object. Only lets non-human objects go through. Humans aren't able to pass through. So Mew obviously wouldn't be able to go through that wall. She's not just an object, after all. I'll cut through your words. The wall wasn't the only thing that Mew changed. She also changed her avatar settings from human to object. From human to object? Yeah, if you were listening, you would know. Which means the virtual world treated her avatar as an object. She could have passed through a wall that only non-humans could go through. Is that right? Don't get ahead of yourself, Kaito. We need to listen to everything Shuichi says. I already told you. The more you try, the more you cause us trouble. It's so 
totally lame that your own sidekick is dissing you! Dang. Kokichi, enough! I wasn't arguing with him. I was just explaining. <laughs> I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. It just means even I make mistakes. Don't worry about it, Shuichi. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing Kaito try to act all tough like this. Kokichi, please refrain from making such irrelevant and irrational remarks. <laughs> Thanks, Kibo. So, if Mew messed with the program and made a wall only she could go through, then her secret route was through that wall? That's it, right? Like using a glitch in a game to walk outside the map. I bet Mew had a hidden passage like that in the back of the chapel. But even if she could walk through walls, was there really a hidden passage? Because Mew said... No, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world, literally. Past that wall, nothing exists. Everything ends there. She probably lied. There would be no point in going if there was nothing on the other side. You lied. Hmm. Huh. I wonder what the truth is. There's no way to find out now. That cum-soaked urinal cake was totally lying about there being nothing past the wall. She lived a life of pride, vulgarity, and secrets. Lying would be a piece of cake for her. Kokichi, you no have to go that far. Stop it! Don't badmouth mommy! Monotaro! Listen to you, talking about mommy like she was a terrible lying whore. But mommy wasn't lying. There was no hidden root in that virtual world. Whoa. Huh? Oh, there wasn't, huh? What? Hey! You can't tell them such an important hint! Oh, if you say that hint is important, then I guess it must be true. <laughs> oh, shoot! Ah, jeez. You're lucky you're cute. Was Kokichi saying all of this stuff about Mew to get the cubs to reveal something? I guess I should thank him, but I have no idea why he does things sometimes. So now that we know there's no hidden root, why did she manipulate the program? If there's actually nothing past the wall, then that setting was meaningless. Mew wouldn't have done something meaningless. She would have had a plan. Yes. Mew definitely wanted to be able to go through that wall for a reason. We aren't sure why yet, but once we solve the mystery of the virtual world... Mystery of... virtual world? There have been a lot of strange occurrences in the virtual world. If we can determine why, we will also determine what Mew was up to. We'll know why she wanted to pass through the wall. Alright, let's clear up those strange occurrences. Yeah, Gonta will help, even though Gonta not know what you're talking about. <laughs> Poor Gonta. Speaking of strange occurrences, I'm just plain worried about that one thing. Remember? That thing that made us notice all the strange occurrences? The loud noise. The events that led us there. This is it! You mean the loud sound that you and I heard in the kitchen? Ah. Uh, what, what, what was that sound? It sounded like something was stuck or struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Mm -hmm. You all heard that sound too? Yes, in the mansion's kitchen. But that sound occurred near the chapel. How did you hear it all the way at the mansion? First off, sound can't go past the map loading point. Did that sound really come from the chapel? That sound was something hitting the chapel wall. It was real loud. And we definitely heard it. We heard Kibo's voice as well. For, for now, let's go outside and check. Oh no! What? 
That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. You heard my voice too? What? That is pretty strange. Exactly. That has to be some kind of clue to the mystery of the virtual world. Okay. Well, let's check the answers later and try to find all the other clues first. There was another mysterious phenomenon in the virtual world, wasn't there? Kokichi talked like he noticed something. Pretending not to know? Even Gonta is suspicious of me? I always thought you would be the one to trust me! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gonta not mean it like that. There's no need to apologize to him. He's probably just lying again. What was the other strange occurrence? Did you see it, Shuichi? Another mysterious phenomenon. Something that shouldn't be possible, like Mew in the mansion or that loud noise. I need to remember everything else that happened in there. Hangman's Gambit? No, mine, mine. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. The sign that we were using as a bridge was odd to me. Odd how? We mentioned it before, but Mew dropped the sign in the river. Whoops, my hand slipped! We found it later, but there was something unnatural about it. Finding the sign was definitely weird. I'm most confused about how the sign got there. I should remember exactly what happened with that sign. All right, here we go. Oh, more Psyche Taxi. Oh, shoot. Oh, there's four levels on this one. Okay. Where is the end of the river? Should be the chapel. Chapel side. I almost hit that car. I almost hit that car. I was so close. Where was the signboard after it was swept away? The the um, the manor side or the mansion side? Which is a problem. Compared to the river's current, which way did the signboard float? Against it. It appeared as though the sign was carried against the river's current. We all saw Mew drop the sign and watched the river carry it downstream. And the river was wide there. The sign should have traveled downriver toward the chapel, correct? It should have hit the wall on the far side of the chapel and stopped there. But that's not where we found it. We found it near the mansion, nestled in some rocks. Yeah. The signboard should have been near the chapel, 
but we found it on the other side. Which tells me that she added the second wall, not the first wall. Hold up. Didn't you stay on the chapel side? She probably grabbed the signboard from the chapel wall to cross the river. Then left it on the boulders near the mansion so she could get back. No. Why would she leave the signboard where it could get swept away and leave her stranded? Also, this has nothing to do with walking through the wall, right? We're getting off topic. We're so close to the truth. We just have to connect the how and what. All the mysterious things that happened have to connect with each other somehow. Connect how? A wall only objects can pass through. Sounds that shouldn't be heard. A signboard going against the river current. How are they all connected? <laughs> I don't know. But Shuichi should know, right? What? We would be in a lot of trouble if you didn't. The only one who can solve this mystery and save us all is you. So, how are they connected? Do you know Shuichi? Ah, well, what we know so far is that... The unnatural way the sign was carried is possibly related to the wall. This is it! It might have to do with a wall that only objects can pass through. Yeah. The sign should have stopped at the wall on the other side of the chapel. But it didn't because of the wall that was added by Mew. But if that wall happened to be the one that Mew set to allow objects through... I see. It's a wall only non-humans can pass through. That means the signboard can pass through the wall, right? Even if it could pass through the chapel wall, how did it end up by the mansion? The only way it could do that is if the wall was a warp zone. But it's not, right? No. That's right. That's the real issue here. How could the signboard pass through the wall and end up on the mansion side? What would explain Leave that? Leave it to me, Shuichi. I, your partner, will give you hints in times of trouble. What? This is the virtual world. We should throw away all of our common sense, okay? Huh? The hell does that even mean? Kokichi might be onto something there. We need to forget about what we know and just think about it. How did the signboard pass through the wall downstream and end up upstream? Putting common sense aside and focusing on the flow of the river. Down. That's yeah. it. Yeah, because the downstream and upstream connected because of the wall. Both ends of the river were connected. Yep. Huh? Both ends of river connected? Because that's how okay, so the reason why my brain is on this or is on this kind of pathway is in a video game, right? You have this is where my experience making my own Pokemon game is coming in clutch. Because what my brain went to immediately was here's map number one, here's map number two. If map number one and map number two connect to each other, like intended, great. You can only flow into map one to two and two to one and so on from the map connection point, which is that little swiggly line. Makes sense, right? Yeah, totally, understand. However, Mew then created a connection point between two and one from that connection point. So the sign can flow in, do the thing, connect into one, and then, oh, it's there again. It's just programming in a nutshell. Oh, my girl. Crazy. Exactly. To put it another way, the river isn't cut off at the wall near the chapel. Correct. It's
It's all part of one big loop. Yep. The upstream part of the river is connected to it. Yup. What? What are you talking about? Both ends of the river can't... Again, throw out all common sense from your head. We're talking about the virtual world. Then what about the wall? There was only one wall that could be passed through. Right. Even if the river's connected and it goes through the chapel wall, it wouldn't have been able to go through the mansion wall too. Wait, in that case? I got it. I, I know why Mew only set up one wall. What are you talking about now? The reason she only set up one wall is because the chapel and the mansion walls are the exact same wall. That's it. Because video gaming creation. The walls by the chapel and the mansion are, are the separate. same. They're the same wall. Because that same line connects to both maps. The same wall? Yep. It's not just the river. The walls themselves are connected. Exactly. Don't think of it as two separate walls, but a single wall parallel to the y-axis. That single wall divides the entire virtual world. Just like when you're creating games in RPG Maker. Loop back the into the is you pass through the wall by the chapel and come out by the mansion. Yup. <laughs> Everything is starting to connect. See, didn't I tell you? Everything is connected. Quite literally. Damn it, Kokichi. Just tell us. Shh, it's okay. More importantly, this is the final stretch. If both the river and wall are connected, then you can find the secret. Shuichi, you already know the secret behind the virtual world, right? It's gonna ask us another multiple twice. The secret, huh? Yeah, I suppose we should clear that up. We need to, or we need to solve the mystery of the virtual world. Hangman's Gambit. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. World. Oh, wait. Oh, God. I, that, I don't know. R, L, D. How about let's actually spell correctly, John. World. Oh, loops. L. Oh. Oh. I literally explained it. Literally explain. Yes, one goes to two, it. which goes to one. The but you know. world is a loop. Loop? Just like in old games, right? Like, for example... Samugi! Let's go! You gonna bring up Pokemon? Oh, wait. No, you're not. The character goes oh. off the left side of the screen and reappears on the right. Yes, girl! Keep it going. Keep it going. Yes, exactly. The edges of the virtual world are linked together in a continuous loop. You go, girl! The virtual world loops? Yeah. What in the world? <laughs> if that's true, it would explain the way the signboard was swept away. Yep. <clears throat> it vanished into the wall downstream of the river, came out of that same wall upstream. And floated with the currents until it got caught on the rocks. What was the world like before Mew added the wall? 
Actually, there wasn't a wall on the Y axis at all, and the X axis was set to loop. Yeah. Are you serious? Even if it is a computer program, isn't that too crazy? No, not at all. A looping world. That's more extraordinary than even magic. But at least it's not a boring answer. It also explains all the things that happened. Huh? It doesn't explain everything, does it? Because we still don't know why we heard that one sound or Kibo's voice. Yeah, sound doesn't go past the nap loading point. Actually, if we know that the world is a loop, we can explain that as well. Huh? Really? Yep. Yes, but first we need to be clear where the loop starts. That's true. Where the loop starts? Doesn't it loop at the walls next to the mansion and chapel? Not necessarily. If we heard a noise at the chapel from inside the mansion, then the loop... No. Oh, shoot. Wouldn't the loop point run through the whole world rather than being confined to one location? Oh, no! Yeah, uh, oh, okay. Well, let me click the side then. Spawn selection kills me every time! I don't know why. It can't be this. There! It is that. Okay. <laughs> the map loading point was where the virtual world loops. <laughs> Got it. Okay. We thought the loading point was in the middle of the map. But the loading point was actually at the edges. So the wall Mew created wasn't at the edges of the world, but rather... Her wall was at the center of the world. I see. So the mansion and chapel were near each other, with a wall between them. And any sounds emitted near the chapel would also reach the mansion. The wall only allows non-humans to pass through. So sound should be able to pass through easily. That's right. That's how the virtual world works. <laughs> Impressive, Shuichi. For you to get this far. Yes. Yes. You are useful indeed. For you to get this far. What are you? Some villain pulling the strings? A little too literal there. Nope. Mew pulled the strings here, not me. Remember? Mew also set this trap. It all began when Mew showed us the map. Because of the map, we mistakenly thought the loading point was at the center. Which in turn made the mansion and chapel seem farther away from each other. But the structure of the world wasn't actually like that. There was a wall along the y-axis, and the x-axis came around in a loop. By putting that wall in the center of that world, she cut off the loop. So ever since Mew showed us that map, we were caught in her trap. But we solved this mystery thanks to Shuichi. All hail our savior! Yeah, if Shuichi wasn't here, then we never would have solved this mystery. That's right. Good work, Shuichi. Thanks, Shuichi. You saved us. Not yet, we didn't. Uh, you're welcome. Just because we found out the virtual world's secret doesn't mean we can take it easy yet. Actually, this culprit hunt just got to the exciting part. Yeah, intermission. Even if we know all the tricks, it's pretty meaningless if we don't find the culprit. 
That's how a class trial works, after all. Kokichi talking like Monokuma again. No matter what you say, I'm not going to believe your lies. I'm going to believe in everyone. That's how I'm going to reach the truth. We're looping again, guys. Literally. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next. What is Kokichi's plan here? He definitely is prodding at Kaido on purpose. Well, there's no time for distractions like him. We have to do this. Or what we have to do is find the culprit who killed Mew. Doesn't matter how many little mysteries we solve if we can't find the culprit. It would all be for nothing. But I still don't know for sure who it could be. Who used Mew's own plan against her to kill her? Who killed Mew? Intermission! Well, in the next episode of Dang and Europa V3 Killing Harmony, we are going to take on the rest of this trial! Oh my god. Well, not that you guys get to see it in a couple stents, because there's no way it's going to be like a quick in and out process. Um, but in the next episode, you know, we're going to continue this trial, get this going, and I will get to finish the trial tonight. Yes! Super excited. Anyway, love you all. See you all in the next one.